What's up, YouTube? So I'm back with another video, and seeing that today is December 30th, it's only right that I have an like, end of 2015 favorites video. As far as, I want to say, like, foods and stuff like that that I've been loving, I want to share with you guys a couple of things that I've been, like, literally craving. Like, when I go to the grocery store, I buy them every single time. And the first thing is going to be these pistachios. They have to be actually the most expensive pistachios I've ever seen in my entire life, but they're so delicious. I love them, and I love the ones that are actually, um... Uh, what do you call it? Not shelled. There's no shell on this one, but the ones that have the shell are also good too And I like that they come in different flavors. So like some are like the sea salt and pepper These are the roasted and salted ones. Um, I just love them I love the taste and I just pop them I eat them I put them in my purse take them with me if I need a snack And so they're really a healthy alternative for like candies and stuff like that Also, I know this is kind of like a kiddish kind of snack, but I know not just kids eat applesauce And yes, <laughs> it's one of my favorite things to snack on as well And it is the mango peach mott's applesauce not just your regular applesauce not like your cinnamon applesauce This is a mango peach one and it's so freaking good like I got my boyfriend hooked on this one as well and it's really just like an alternate alternative for like any other kind of snack that you usually gravitate towards you can really just pick some of these up in their healthier versions um instead of you like you know getting candy and chips and all that stuff and then my last thing that I've really been drinking a lot of is this one not a ton because I've been trying to steer clear of like juices and pops and stuff but this one only has about 26 grams if you uh drink uh, eight ounce in one sitting or whatever and so 26 grams is not that bad if you look on a candle pop it'll be like 48 46 grams of sugar in there so that's really crazy so um if I'm not drinking water or sparkling water or anything that's really like low in sugar i'll like go for this one or apple juice so but i do like this flavor it's not like a super strong watermelon flavor um but it is a nice like flavor especially for the summer honestly because it's like a real chill drink you put some ice you can also mix it with stuff if you're into like the alcoholic beverages but um yeah so outside of that that is all of my food things that i've been loving and i've been really uh i guess eating and drinking uh or been craving that i really want to you know have on deck all the time so i'm gonna go right into makeup stuff so then do some other like body care and hair care so first thing first what i'm wearing on my lips right now is this nyx liquid suede and i love this stuff this is in a color vintage and i've been wearing this non-stop for the last like actual month um i think i got this in september hmm, or was it in october i think i got it in october and i've been loving this lip color because it's not like super bright but then it's you know bold but it is kind of a subtle bold like dark lip um it's a nice brown but then it has hints of like a red maroon color so i really do enjoy this lip color and it's really easy to wear because it is a cream so it goes on very matte and everything you don't need a lip liner when you apply this so i do like that and i like the wand as well I like how thick it is um and it just really helps when you like apply the whole lipstick onto your lips and like i said it's creamy so it doesn't give you that really dry cracked nasty lip feeling that most liquid lipsticks give you so yeah moving on to the other liquid lipsticks i've been loving are from ColourPop. i did just come across them this year i'm not sure if they came out this year or not but um I've been loving them this year and I feel like they've been the craze anyway this whole year and my first one I ever got was this one which is in color oh no yes <laughs> so it's a really really dark purple color and i love this color i feel like it's so close to dark black almost but um in the right lighting you can definitely see the hues and pops of purple and i do love this color because it just really helps pull off any vamp look you're trying to do like this is the like perfect purple black color to do and i've been loving also this one which is lax and it's a really amazing maroon like brown color um and you know a lot of people have been loving this color so i will also insert some, insert some pictures of me wearing these different lipsticks So those two are my two ColourPop favorites out of all the ones that I have. So next, of course, I rant and rave about Milani products, and my two favorites are right here. One is in Matte Glam, the purple ones, the first one I ever got from the Milani collection, and I fell in love with the consistency of how creamy it feels. So it's another matte product, and I've been on the craze for everything matte because it's so easy to wear and it's so easy to reapply throughout the day. But this lipstick is so creamy that it just makes you feel like you're putting on a lip chap, which is what I kind of look for in lipsticks because I don't like to feel like I have to be super high maintenance throughout the day. Um, and also, it doesn't make me feel like it's going to smear and smudge and bleed throughout my lips. It's going to pretty much stay wherever I put it, so I love that about it and you don't necessarily have to wear a lip liner i feel like it probably will work out best if you did but honestly you don't have to worry about like okay let me apply my lip liner and then apply my lipstick and then apply my lip gloss like this is just like the ultimate best product and so it's this nice purple color it's a really like true purpley color and i know my lighting is kind of bad right now because i chose to film this video super late in the day but we're gonna just bear with it uh the next color is matte confident and i did this in a tutorial recently i believe and i just love this color because it's a really nice rich red kind of like a brick red um and it just holds on like super soft and creamy and so i love this i have this lip pencil and it's from nyx and this is the slime Slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a try on waterproof. <laughs> what? Waterproof extreme color lip liner. That is the longest name I have ever read on any product but and it also says this lip liner is so good the name had to be this long uh that's so funny this is in color uh urban cafe and it looks like this is a nice rich brown color um my skin tone is pretty much close to my skin tone let me see if i can swatch it real quick but it gets real creamy and you can darken it you know but it's a phenomenal color i love this applying this with new looks especially with like brown looks like this like these new liquid lips that are really like nice and rich and brown so this color has really been helping out to blend that together but also this color looks really really good with red so when you do a red lip like i love to apply a brown lip liner so Moving on and talking about the last lip product is 
this is from Sephora. Now, I had a little beef with Sephora lately, and I was kind of like off Sephora because they, like, well, I'm not even going to go into it, but me and Sephora were not friends. But I honestly do love a lot of their products and everything. And so I ended up getting this, and I think I hauled it, um, I want to say in September for my birthday, around my birthday, I ended up having a birthday haul or whatever, and I got this Ultimate Oil and Gel like uh lipstick remover and so this is so amazing when you have one of these super pigmented super like drying lip products and you're trying to take it off with your um like makeup remover wipe and it doesn't get off like this is what you put on your lips and then it'll glide right off and so i do love this product i want to say this was anywhere from 10 to 5 dollars at sephora i got it online i'm not sure if you can get it in store but i'm guessing you probably can like you know and it's just this little tube and it kind of looks like it's a lip gloss but it's not it's to help you remove your lipsticks so this is great especially if you end up sleeping in your makeup and you wake up with like these super bright pink lips and then you can't get it off so this is going to help you get that off so the next product i'm going to talk about is this nyx now this is supposed to be a highlight and contour like little palette and it looks like this i've hauled this before and i was kind of disappointed because this shade is actually like the color of my skin tone so once I apply my foundation and everything and then I go back in and I try to contour with this color it was not picking up I was not getting any definition and that's because it's the same shade as me and so um this color did not work out for me however it works out best as an overall like face powder and so I don't use the highlight part because it's super white and it's not really like shimmery or doesn't do anything to highlight my skin however uh-oh However, this brown shade really helps mattify my foundation and anything and it just really helps correct and like I just love the powder consistency of it and everything. So um, it's so weird that it's not supposed to be an all over face powder. However, that's how I use it and I love it. And I can even use this without even putting on any foundation and it really works well with my skin and I feel like it mattifies oils and all that stuff. So I do like this but not for what it's supposed to be for. The next product that I've been loving and I've been using a lot is this e.l.f. High Definition Powder. And so for that trend of baking and everything, I was using this powder. This, as you can see, I've like pretty much used it all up and it's a brownish pink tint. So it doesn't come off as that white shadow that you you may get if you were to take flash photography and uh, you had that white cast of like a powder underneath your eyes it doesn't do that because it has like a pinkish brown tint to it so that's why I do like it I will say that it's not probably the best like translucent powder you can get but for the price I believe it was like five dollars or less um and for it to be an elf product I think it's pretty good it's not bad I wouldn't say like it's amazing but I was using it consistently and I didn't have any real flaws in the whole product so that was that I of course I think I talked about this in one of my favorites video but I just wanted to include it in this one because it's really been helping my whole process of my brows and that is this NYX above and beyond full coverage concealer I'm using it in color beige and I love this stuff because it's so full coverage like it says it's a really great product I use it with an angled brush and I just really clean up my brows with it and it also gives a great highlight so I don't have to go back in and do like a eyeshadow um underneath my brow bone to highlight or anything like that i feel like this just cancels out all that stuff so i just have one complete job clean up my brows and it highlights all at the same time so it's pretty amazing you do have to blend it however because if you're my skin tone or darker um you are going to want to blend 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 underneath your brows because you will have like that crazy halo so going right into another concealer i don't use that nyx one i don't use this one underneath my i mean above my brows i use it underneath my brows and i use this one which is from sephora and it is the bright future concealer and it is in color Dolce de Leche, and I talked about this in a video, I hauled it, but I think I also included it in one of my favorites videos. This has been definitely a lifesaver because I was having that crazy halo above my brows, and I do like to carve out my brows because I feel like it gives it that more, like, cleaned up look. And so I've been loving this color because it really is, like, reminiscent of my exact skin tone. It may be, like, a shade lighter, like, like the smallest, slight variation, but it's been amazing. The next, like, concealer color corrector, which I recently just purchased, um, this is not, I have not had this all 2015, but I want to talk about it because it's kind of changing the way my foundation routine has become, and I kind of want to do an updated foundation routine. I don't even think I have one on my channel as it is, but I want to update you guys on what I've been doing with my foundation, and I've been starting to use this LA Girls Pro Conceal, and this is the orange color. This is the color corrector, and, uh, if they have a color, it's called, yeah, the orange corrector. So, I've been using this one to spot correct all of my, like, darker spots, and I don't have one any foundation today, so, like, I haven't used it today. I just have on a lip and some brows, and that is it, but, um, I use this one and I use it to like, like you see I have kind of like dark color discoloration from my acne on my chin. I use it kind of like in my like jaw area and if I have any bumps, which I do have one right now, in between my brows I use it right here and I just really like blend it in and I know that Ashley D Beauty, she pretty much put me onto this. She uses these and I absolutely love it now because I feel like it really helps your foundation look more flawless and it doesn't look like you have on like tons and tons of matte, like you don't have to like cake on your foundation or super conceal anymore. Like once I applied this one, I feel like it just really helped that whole process. So I've been loving this and I'm going to definitely continue to use this in 2016 so next thing I want to talk about our eyes and I have been using this Urban Decay Perversions Mascara I got a free sample from Sephora I believe or it was from Ulta and I cannot remember but I got a free sample and I believe it was like a birthday thing and I want to say it was from Ulta and I fell in love with it because of the wand first of all when I first looked at it I was just like wow this wand is pretty cool it's not like your regular plastic bristles these are like real legit like 
bristles like you know and it just makes your lash it feels good gliding on and it really distributes a lot of product onto your lashes so i do love this mascara because of how it distributes all the product my lashes get really dark and fluffy and thick like everything about this mascara it says bigger blacker batter and that's what it is to me um i just love it so <laughs> yeah the next thing I want to talk about are brushes. So I have four brushes that I want to talk about. The first one I've also, I think, mentioned in a haul video. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the favorites, but I love this brush. It's from the icing, and it's like a large kabuki brush. It's kind of domed, and it's not super dense, but it's not like a flimsy brush either. And I love that about it because I like to use it for my foundation. At first, I was using it for, excuse me, my highlight, and I loved it for my highlight because I like the way it blended it, but... Honestly, like it works best as a foundation brush or if you're going to do a powder or something like that. And so I like to use it to buff my foundation in. I feel like it really gets in there. I don't have any streaks or any lines or anything. And yeah, so love that brush. The next brush, the next brush is from e.l.f. And it's a complexion brush. Looks like this. It's pretty flat, but it's also fluffy at the same time. Um, and I love this brush to dust away when I'm baking. I love it to like really like clean up anything if I'm trying to blend out any powders or any bronzers or highlights or even blush sometimes if I feel like it's too heavy I'll go in with this brush and because it's very flexible and really soft like I feel like it doesn't like wipe away the makeup but it definitely like gets in there and like just really buffs it out and then it really wipes and flicks away like any translucent powders and stuff like that so I love that for this um also what has been my total favorite like for the last few years actually is this elf brush it is the powder brush it's the flat brush I use this to buff in foundation lately because I've been using the domed kabuki brush I have been loving this brush for more like powders and I love to just dip this brush into like a maybe like a blush and it will really distribute the blush like heavily where I want it to go so I feel like it's really if you want to pack on something I feel like it's best I love to do this with bronzer and I feel like it just really works well or even if you want to do powder all over your face I love this brush for that so I was talking about how before I feel like they changed the way that they like manufactured this brush it used to be way more dense and now it's a little soft so I don't like the fact that it's you know it has gotten soft but I still do like this brush so I don't really want to use it for foundations anymore because I feel like it's not you know dense enough but I like it the next brush which I got many moons ago but I feel like you can still get this brush and it's from Target it's the Sonya Kashuk brush and and this is a really nice concealer brush to me. I use it, it's like kind of like dome shape and I use it for concealer. Um, I use it to blend out my concealer around my brows. I sometimes use it in my crease um, to blend like a nice neutral color. I just really like this brush because it's great for blending anything you need to blend out. It will get it done. It's synthetic, but well, I think it's synthetic. I just love this brush. I love like everything about it. So that's that and I hope that you can still get it because it was a minute ago when I bought it. So I'm going to go into body care and this video is getting so long and I'm getting nervous but um first thing for body care and I'm going to go into fragrances I really have been loving this Daisy uh Dream and it's from Marc Jacobs it looks like this you can tell it's like halfway gone I love this scent it smells so like girly and flirty and floral so this has been a really good scent I actually got this I want to say for my birthday last year and I was wearing this since then until like now as you can see I still have like a little bit left in here. The next fragrance which I got for my birthday this year and I have like almost none left is the Prada Candy. I love this one. It's the hot pink one. They have different ones. I believe it's three different Prada Candies and there's like a hot pink one which is this one, a medium pink and then a really really light pink one and I like this one. It smells absolutely phenomenal. Um, it's kind of like earthy, woodsy. I don't really know how to describe scents but I love the way this one smells. It's, it's real like feminine but it's still kind of like like effortless I don't know um <laughs> I talked about this one before and I actually think I included it in a favorites video and it's still going to be my favorite because it's first of all so inexpensive you can find it at your local Marshalls TJ Maxx Ross any of those type of stores and it is this Britney Spears yes I've been loving Britney Spears and I know Britney Spears goes back to like when I was like at the end of my high school to beginning of my college years but I don't care I love this scent and I feel like it's never gonna not be in my rotation of collections like at home and you can always get like a huge bottle for like 20 bucks so I don't know I just love it and the last little scent that I've been loving is from Joe Malone and I hope you can see well there it goes but it's the blue agave uh cologne and and cocoa I think um it smells so good again it's like one of those like woodsy kind of masculine but feminine scents kind of like I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I mean, blue agave, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. It just really smells so good. And Joe Malone perfumes are so amazing. I'm so sad that I have this little guy and I have like that much left. So I really do want to invest in more like perfumes that are going to last and that are like really quality. So I'm going to be picking some more of that up. Next, I'm going to go into other body care, actual body care stuff. And so I've been loving this body collagen. and I think this is from Target, I want to say. I feel like it's from Target or you can get this from like maybe CVS. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which drugstore you can get this from, but I love everything Gardenia and I love Gardenia like mist, body mist and stuff and shower gels and stuff. But uh, this cream consistency of this body cream is crazy. It leaves your body like glowing. I'm telling you like your skin has a sheen to it afterwards, but it doesn't feel oily or greasy or anything. This just feels moisturizing and your skin looks flawless. Like it looks like you just have been sitting on the beach and you just are glowing. Like I, I swear, I love the way. I don't really like this scent because I feel like it's not a pure Gardenia. It says pure white Gardenia, but I think it's a lot. Like I don't like the scent, but I love the consistency of this product. So the Body Ecology body creams are really good. So uh, I've been on a tangent with the 
uh, clean, clean on me, soap and glory. And I feel like I talked about this in my last video or the video before last. And I'm looking over here because I have the body lotion off to the side. But this is the shampoo. I mean shampoo. This is the shower gel. Uh, I've been loving this one. Um, I love the smell of it. It's very feminine. It's really like clean smelling. Like I just, it just smells like clean. I mean, and that's what it is. Clean on me. And so soap and glory products. I know you can get it at Ulta. That's where I got mine from. This is about $10. And it's just, uh, I don't know how to really describe it. I just really like the scent. And so you should go smell it. And if you like it, you should get it because it smells good. The next things are hair products and what I've been washing my hair with the most lately is the Shea Moisture and it is the Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo and it also has sea kelp and argan oil in it. It's for dry damaged hair. Now, I don't necessarily have damaged hair. However, my hair does suck up a lot of different products. So I'll initially put in oils and creams and stuff like that, but my hair can tend to get a, a lot like dry and you know, I don't want my curls to be all super dry. And so I love this shampoo because it, help, it helps to like revitalize my hair and get it back to a, like a nice state. So right after I wash my hair with this, I feel like my curls are just like bouncing back. And on top of that, I love to use the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream. I've been using this for, I want to say, how long have I been natural? For about three years I've been natural, and I've been loving this stuff. Like, honestly, it's the best. It smells so good. I love everything coconut anyway, but this smells like a tropical paradise or something like that in your hair. Like, it smells really good, and um, the product is just really good. I feel like it helps my curls. Um, it's not, like, the best. I don't think that it's the best product ever but it's really good for how affordable it is um a lot of natural hair care stuff is so expensive and so when i came across cantu stuff i just really fell in love with you know everything and it says it has no sulfate no silicones no parabens or mineral oils it is all natural coconut curling cream with shea butter in it and so yeah and it's for dry hair and i have dry hair so i use everything that's going to help moisturize and keep the moisture in and on top of that i've been also loving tea tree oil i love the scent of tea tree oil because it's so minty or menthol type of smell um so that's what's been phenomenal um but i also use this not only just for my hair but for spot treatments now this one hollywood beauty is not 100 percent tea tree oil by itself however this is really good because um it still works i feel like it still works even you know i put it on my bumps and they literally go away within a day or so um with you know the other stuff that i'm using but i do like this and i do feel like it helps dry out those bumps but i do like to put this in my hair too because i feel like it just really like helps my scalp feel amazing so next few bits i'm going to talk about are like kind of like fashion kind of stuff so i already talked about last uh favorites video that i've been loving these future sneakers the jordan futures i do like these i do wear them all the time now because they're so comfortable and because of this colorway is really neutral so i do love these and i'm done talking about them because i like them a lot and you guys already know that but what i was wearing like all summer and they kind of look a little dirty so don't judge me but i was wearing these which are kind of similar to a birkenstock but it's from sam elderman and it looks like this it has the mohair black um crisscross straps in the front and it's just like this and it says sam elderman right on the sole and then it has like the imprint prints of where you put your toes um this is like a really comfortable yet kind of chic kind of spin on like a Birkenstock shoe so I really do like this shoe because it's like I said casual yet kind of dressy um but it's very comfortable and you can wear it a lot of different ways like I was wearing it with skirts but then I also wore it with pants and so yeah it was easy to style and I love that shoe and I love the mohair and I love that it was black so it was just a lot that I loved about it so another piece that I've been really moving towards or like finding myself wearing like a ton has been this necklace and so I got this necklace from Sam Moon I love this piece because it's kind of like an attention getter but it also is pretty simplistic at the same time like it has a lot going on but then it's just a really nice statement and but it's not like overkill I feel like it's just enough of like you know embellishments going on and I love that it mixed different metals in here so you have a little bit of your gun metal you have a little bit of your tarnished antique gold you have a little bit of like actual shinier gold and so I think it's pretty cool and it also has like a nice stone on there um, and then it has a little bit of a marble which is pretty cool too and I have been fascinated with like a lot of different marble pieces so I thought this was a really nice necklace it can add any kind of spice to like any any kind of outfit so I would wear this with like a basic tank and some ripped jeans and like a nice little shoe and put on a blazer and I'll be like out the door or put on a cardigan you know it's just a real like subtle piece to add to like you know any outfit and I think the absolute last favorite and last like fashion piece is this maxi skirt so it's from the thrift store I literally my dog is tripping so I got this from the thrift store I love going thrifting and sometimes it's hard you have to weed through the different things that you know are good and you know whatever like they're good or not or whatever but I ended up finding this maxi skirt it's kind of pleated all over it's a really nice rich dark gray color and when I originally got this skirt I got it while I was pregnant and I really loved it because I can like stretch and use it you know it grew with me but even when I'm not pregnant like I swear like this skirt is just like like the sisterhood of traveling pants like it can fit any size like that's why I like this skirt so this is a really great piece and I like to wear it kind of high-waisted and I'll kind of insert some pictures of me wearing the skirt
and stuff but i love that skirt and i feel like it's also a transitional piece you can wear it in the summer you can wear it in the fall because it's such a great color and it's neutral and the texture of it is a nice cotton so it can be layered you know if you wear it tight so if you wear it, like some booties or something with it in the winter so i can dress it up or dress it down um i think that's it so thank you guys for watching this long video hopefully i'll be able to like speed it up a little bit i know that i've been speeding up a lot of my videos lately and i've been trying to like stay focused instead of like you know going on and on on a tangent like i am right now so thank you guys for watching my video i hope that you guys enjoy and hope that you guys continue to be on my journey as i go into 2016 thank you guys for um all of your support and everything that uh you've been helping me out with you've been critiquing me on or you know giving me advice or giving me your support um by saying you know you're proud of me and all those different things i really do appreciate it and i just hope that you guys continue to watch my videos and feel inspired so thank you bye